Hello everyone, it's another day at Creative Warehouse and I remain your host, Sammy Joe. Today, we're going to be looking at something weird. Have you ever been in a situation where your shadow moves differently from you? Like, like, like if that happens in real life, I'm going to literally go crazy. Like, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> Just imagine you're dancing, but your shadow isn't dancing. <laughs> or, or you're probably standing and you know, checking your phone and you just find your shadow doing something different. Maybe dancing or lifting. It. Like, like, like that's weird. But yeah, that's why you were here on Creative Warehouse. That's what we're here to do. And these things are quite intriguing. So if you can learn them and apply them properly in your work, it can literally change the face of your filmmaking. So before I show you, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, this is the right time to do so. So smash that subscribe button and also click on the notification icon so that whenever we bring new videos, you will be part of the first to know. So without wasting your time, let's go. That can be crazy. That, that looks crazy. Like I said, if this happens to me in real life, I'm literally going to freak out. This is a beautiful trick, but quite simple to make. So let's go into the process of making that video. First of all, you need to have a single source of light. So you turn off all the lights in the room and ensure that you have just one light that can create a hard shadow. One thing you would have to bear in mind is for this trick to work, your camera has to be on a tripod and no one touches it or moves its position. So it has to be rock steady in one place. You position your camera such that it sees your subject and sees the shadow. So what you go ahead to do is you perform for, the, for your real self or your character's real self first. When you're done performing, then now it's time to perform for the shadow. You start of replicate what you did the first time. Then all of a sudden, you start making other body movements. So that's gonna like sort of right make the, the 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 shadow different and to make it very realistic whilst you're acting yourself or the subject is acting itself you have to look at the shadow and act as though you know you're surprised at it so you look at the shadow and sort of react to what you're seeing even though you are not seeing anything at the time that's the beauty of filmmaking make believe so now that we have our footage ready let's hop into premiere pro to do some editing work all right right now we're in premiere pro all you need to do is get your markers your in and out markers for your first performance as soon as you're done with that you drag it into the timeline track one and then you mark your in and out points for a second performance and then drag it on top of the first clip, which is the track two. Then you go to your effects control panel, you click on your mask tool, make sure you have the footage on top clicked and then you start masking. Simple and straightforward, just a simple masking technique is what we need. I'm sure you can see some flaws over here. So all you need to do is click on the footage, go to your masking tool, mask path, and you start animating the mask. As it moves, you animate it. Just keep animating it frame by frame to ensure you do a neat work. And once you're done masking, we'll have a clean video. So that is it. Very simple if you ask me. Let me give you a pro tip. If you master masking in editing, you will be able to do a lot of tricks. Just bear that in mind. So if you love this video, you like this video, and you feel like we've given you some value, please like this video by clicking on the thumbs up icon so that it would help more people to see our videos. So that's about the size of today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. I remain your host, Sammy Joe, and this is Creative Warehouse. We'll come around again.